everybody welcome back to yet another episode of our series Rising Stars which provides the emerging talent of the music industry and today on this very special episode we have with us a budding artist and a rising star Shannon K with us we welcome you here today Hi thank you so much for having me Shannon uh, can you share with us uh, your journey into the uh, you know music industry starting from your debut um, how you uh, you know you wanted to you know come in this industry how it all happened um i always wanted to be uh you know in music since i was raised in that environment um you know knowing that my dad is a huge bollywood uh, you know singer so i think that was something that i kind of grew up into and um yeah i you know i decided to kind of step into it as a profession and I told my dad and he was like really you know happy about it very supportive um but he was like you know this is like your battle and your struggle so you need to do it by yourself um and so yeah that being said I kind of did my debut in 2018 with Pooh Bear um and that was a great hit with the song A Long Time. A lot of people really loved it. And I think that was kind of like an encouragement for me to keep going. And, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, people are kind of liking my my voice and my style. So, so yeah. <laughs> uh, that was great. So what inspired, to, you know, you to pursue your career in singing and acting? Uh, basically, in singing and acting, who was your biggest inspiration in this? Your dad, I must say singing and, 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 and yeah I think like yeah for sure like you said in singing uh, my dad has been you know my first guru and inspiration for sure and later on I you know I was definitely influenced by uh, um, you know the, the legends out here such as Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion um, so those all were my musical uh, inspirations and then in in terms of acting I have you know seen like amazing amazing actors on screen and I think they have influenced me um and have been definitely inspired me to get into acting such as uh Irfan Khan sir uh Anupam Kher sir um Govinda sir and you know out here in the west we have of course Mel Streep uh Johnny Depp so I think these you know amazing artists have definitely been an influence in my acting uh journey so yeah yeah, so I mean, uh, how do you stay informed and adapted to the, you know, ever changing landscape of the music business, particularly with the rise of digital platforms and streaming services? How do you, you know, stay connected with that? Um, I am not much of a um, social media freak. <laughs> I try to keep things a little private, um, especially these days when, you know, everybody wants you to kind of like, step out of your comfort zone and just kind of like be a bit more you know engaged with your audience and and let them know what you're up to and stuff so I kind of had to find the right balance between you know things that I want to share with my people and things that I just want to kind of keep it to myself um that being said I love to kind of just you know I make sure that, that whatever is it that I'm putting out there has a certain message if not it's still like a good positive vibe that I'm kind of sending across and um and yeah I mean you know I, I hardly post but when I do I'm really glad that my fans are like so you know patient enough to like you know wait for me to kind of keep working and keep sending sharing stuff with them so for example I have a new single coming out on uh, March 8th which is like your tomorrow and my, my tomorrow yeah. yeah exactly so um yeah it's all like exciting exciting out here and um yeah, yeah just share. About more it is coming or uh, day after tomorrow tell us about it more yeah it's called Jimmy Jimmy I'm sure you've heard the iconic you know disco song uh by the you know by the king of disco uh Mr. Bobby Larry so I had an amazing uh opportunity and experience to uh meet him during his birthday celebration uh right before his demise and we had a lovely chat together and he blessed me and he was like you know I'm gonna definitely do a song with you um unfortunately we lost him too soon and that was you know that was something that I kind of wanted to that, that I was craving for you know to work with him um 
and eventually you know his son Bapa he kind of like you know brought me on to this really cool reprised version of Jimmy Jimmy and I was like yes I definitely want to give a little tribute to uh, Bapi uncle and um, yeah and so we made this you know we we kept the authentic uh, core to you know to the original song but we just added a little bit of you know specs of um, the modern uh, touch and feel and um, even the visuals itself like we kind of like went back in time you know you can see like the disco balls or a lot of glitters and everything so it's a true 80s style uh, song of course and the visuals so yeah so uh, recently Shannon you got an award also if I'm not wrong Yes, I did. Uh, I won the uh, WEA award for. Uh, How was the feeling? The feeling was absolutely unexpected because to be able to win, you know, for your uh, native song in a, you know, in a different uh, land, in a different country um, that are that are not really fluent to like listening to, you know, Hindi songs or and stuff. So so, yeah, that was very unexpected. And I was super surprised by it. But at the same time, I was very, you know, thankful and appreciative of, of the uh, of the panel, you know, who acknowledged uh, the song and they really liked it. So I think kind of you know gate realize made me realize that that you know music again has no language has no boundary you know everybody from every parts of the world can really enjoy music so yeah yeah definitely definitely you're very really right on that so uh Sam, how do you approach selecting uh, the project whether it be a music call a collaboration or an acting role what do you see specifically in that though um, for when it comes to like music collaborations um, and just the creativity part of it, I make sure that, again, like I said, you know, to have certain impact on on the people, on the society, community. And if not, then just, you know, giving them something good, um, because I think we are all sort of in a, you know, um, running in a lifestyle where we're just crazy. It's it's crazy out there, you know, and um, it's so serious and everything. So just kind of give them a good vibes and happiness and inspiration to whatever is it that they're dreaming of, you know, to continue, uh, you know, following their dreams and stuff. And then when it comes to acting, um, just sort of, you know, I'm, I'm still learning. I kind of recently transitioned myself into acting. So I'm exploring myself as an actress as well. Um, learning a lot of things, you know, watching tons and tons of movies and, and doing like workshops and stuff. So, so yeah, I, you know, for me, like acting has always kind of been there. It's, you know, it's like the twin sister <laughs> um, of music, you could say. So, so yeah, I think it's just about like the matter of, you know, patience and obviously a lot of learning to do. Same with music. I mean, you know, these things are like, uh, you know, there's so many things that you still have to keep learning and, and trying out and experimenting. So, so yeah. Yeah, definitely, you're right. Uh, and uh, I must say, uh, uh, in today's time, uh, if you put your song out there on social media, it's going viral. Now, as an independent artist also, nowadays you don't need any you know, music labels to promote your songs. What, what's your take on that? Um, I agree with that completely. I'm an independent artist. I've always been. Um, I've had a few, you know, um, like labels reach out to me in the past, but I think I was a bit too young to get into those, you know, uh, skeptical contracts. <laughs> um, they kind of seemed really sketchy. And obviously, you know, like industry, people have always said that labels, you know, kind of shelve you or do you wrong. And I've seen a lot of sort of examples uh, throughout with different artists. So I think it's, um, it's a safer sort of route to be independent, but at the same time, it's a lot more uh, challenging. Yeah, it's a lot more challenging because everything is now on you. So right from like the marketing to the strategy to like the creativity. Now you're not just like a creative part. You're also need to put on your, you know, business hat on because you then need to kind of like think about what's next and how you're going to like, you know, uh, put your song out or whatever is it that you're working. Um, so, yeah, but I'm so glad to see that, you know, people and 
um, the audience and even like, you know, the entertainment business is slowly opening up to, you know, independent artists like myself and they're acknowledging their talents and stuff. So, so yeah, you never know like what the future hold. Maybe like we're, we won't, probably won't have any labels. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. It's um it's a bright future for independent artists I must say. How how has your upbringing been the daughter of legendary Kumar Panu and from your art, art artistic you know first to it? And I would say what all you learn from him in terms of it. I have learned so much from him. Um, you know. I have also kind of like you said, you know, my upbringing. So I would definitely love to give a shout out to my mom, um, you know, give the give both of my parents the credit for it. Um, they have always taught me to, uh, you know, again, be down to earth and be kind to one another, have empathy towards, you know, um, especially towards animals um, since, you know, they, they're a voiceless species. And, and I think we, as human beings, um, are, it's our duty and responsibility to, to take care of those um, voiceless animals and, and everything. And, um, and just like the values and, you know, just ethics and morals that you need to kind of like keep in check with yourself in order to, you know, move on in your life and, and just have a good satisfaction Spied, uh life and from my dad I've heard, learned a lot on the business end as well um, such as you know don't let the success kind of take over you and just you know breathe in when you when you feel like you're starting to you know get those uh, attitude <laughs> come in and stuff so yeah it's always fun to kind of like chat with him and you know know about like his you know his days and his struggles and how he kind of like over you know came all those things so so yeah it's really cool yeah definitely so what's your take on bollywood music the bollywood industry are you planning to you know work with some of the bollywood artists out there well i uh i have worked with a couple of great great um you know music producers uh, in bollywood such as hr um and i've also worked with um sean sir sonu sir uh we did a great collaborations on this like very beautiful you know hybrid uh kind of song um and so yeah and also kind of gave my voice to a couple of like web series as well um i recently did a bollywood movie called chaldindagi which um so I was one of the, uh, you know, leads in it. And we had Sanjay Mishra and all the songs were sung by me. So, um, so yeah, I did a little bit of, you know, here and there. And I think I'm just sort of, uh, again, exploring myself and looking for great opportunities. I would love to collaborate with as many artists as I possibly can, um, because there's always something that you learn from each other. And, you know, uh, you get to step into their genre and they get to step into yours. And it's just, you know, the whole sort of vibe of collaborating has always fascinated me. So I'm looking forward to, um, you know, seeing what's there for me in Bollywood. <laughs> so what's your favorite Bollywood song? And uh, what, what's your favorite song that you have sung? Malab, can you listen to uh, two lines on that? Um... I have, I mean, you know, I got to mention my dad's <laughs> song. I really love that song. Um, it's called Jab Koi Baat Bikar Jai. And I think it's everybody's song, favorite song. So, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. And it goes something like this. Jab Koi Baat Bikar Jai Jab Koi Mushkil Par Jai तुम देना साथ मेरा हम Thank you. Oh, that was so sweet. You sang it so well. I mean, 
I love Thank it. You. Thank you. Um, so, uh, looking forward, what are your aspirations for your career in the entertainment business? And what all projects are lined up? Tell us about it. Um, I have a couple of projects lined up. Like I said, I have this amazing single coming out on March 8th. I have um, a podcast on um, Ruckus Avenue Radio, which is associated with iHeartRadio. So that's where I play the part of being a host. And I, you know, I'm always there on a weekly basis talking about like the top 15 countdown. Um, and I'm also doing a bit of acting. I am recently, um, you know, I'm currently filming for a TV show out here in US. Um, and there are a couple of songs lined up in Bollywood as well. So, so yeah, I'm very hopeful for the future. And I think my, my goal would just to be, you know, to be inspired, inspiring to other uh, people out there who, you know, um, who have a dream and to, to keep continue to follow their dreams and everything and uh, just to be you know satisfied with everything that I'm doing with all the content that I'm producing and putting it out there um, so so yeah I hope that you know the future is bright for me <laughs> definitely it is very bright for you the way you sang this song I can tell you uh, in my you know words that was amazing and Thank you. Uh, so, can I know what we can expect from music business in that in twenty twenty four? In terms, of what comments you would like to give us on that? Sorry, can you say that again? What you, what we can expect from twenty twenty four music business in that? Oh, uh, you can expect. I mean, a lot. Um, you know, there's. I I think like my journey is full of like surprises and ups and downs so I never really keep in expectations and I don't think any artist does or should because <laughs> it's just a you know it's just a yeah it's a it's an it's a place where you know you, you usually get like the least expected things happens with you and you just got to be optimistic about it and be open to create be able to like navigate from one place to another um, be open for different opportunities and stuff so that's what I'm currently in you know I'm just kind of like exploring different avenues and routes and um, yeah I hope I mean it's just the beginning of 2024 but you never know it's like the the months are going so fast I'm like oh my god we're already in March it's crazy so so yeah sometimes it's like you know you're on a time crunch and, and you're running out of time and then other times it's just like take it slow you know breathe and um just kind of like map things out so you're following it on time yeah a very all the best to you for your future and it was our pleasure to have you on us on our show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I had a lovely time chatting with you. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.